We're now going to look at applying design variations to our road one string. This will involve overriding the template that's currently being applied and changing the cross section of the string. To do this, we go up to the design data form found on the roads tab and then click close to the road one alignment. There we can go over to the left side of the form, click on variations and then down the bottom of the form, click on add entry. This is a list of all the available design variations that Civil Site Design currently uses. We can vary the codes on our template, except for the centerline, because this is controlled via the vertical grading editor, and the daylight, because that is controlled via daylight override entry. So you can't modify those codes via the variations. We're going to explore a handful of them, but we're going to use them via the cross section window. For the time being, close this form close down the design data form and we're going to open up a cross-section window. Prior to doing that let's just make sure that you can see comfortably station 0 to station 600 within the right hand side of the screen. We're going to open up a cross-section window by clicking on the open vertical grading pull down and we are prompted for two clicks. So the first one will be for the alignment we want to use, which in this case will be road one. So that's your first click. And then the second click will be for a required change. So clicking up here in this region of road one will be absolutely fine. You can see we've got a cross section being displayed for us. Make sure that it's a comfortable scale. Don't have it really, really small or very, very large on screen. You need to comfortably see what's going on with your string and also what's going on within the cross section window. If you need, you can always go to the display tab and change the exaggeration of the view if you need. We can apply design variations directly through the cross section window. To do this, you need to hover over the code that you want to manage first of all. Now what we're going to do is remove the sidewalk from the left side of the string, which is this section here, for the first 600 feet. So to do this, we hover over the code we want to remove. You'll know when you've got the right code because it will be displayed for you down the bottom of the cross-section window. So we are looking for the left sidewalk outer code, LSWO. When you found it, you can right click and you'll see that we get a number of different options. We're going to hover over add variation, then we're going to hover over delete section, and then we're going to click the option which is to delete section. In the form, we get the chance to choose the station range where we want to make the edit. So in this case, we only want to edit the first 600 feet, so we're going to change the end station to 600. Because we hovered over the code, the code has already been selected for us. All we need to do is click on Apply. Importantly, we'll see that change in the cross-section window and on plan, so you can see what's happening. Now, there are some shortcut tools that we can access directly via the ribbon on the cross-section window. You can open the vertical grading editor directly from the cross-section window. We can also open up the design data form directly for this string. Again, this prevents the need to go up to the ribbon and select the string. This will open the form up for us. In there, we now have, under the variations heading, a variation that has been added in. So if at any point you want to go in and review a list of variations that you've applied to your particular string, you can actually use this form and you can still add them via this form as well. Close down the design data form. Let's now open up Model Viewer and quickly have a look at what's happened in the model. If you zoom into the start of your Road 1 string, you'll be able to see the sidewalk has now been removed. Now, if for whatever reason you decide that you want to edit that entry, okay or you've made a mistake of some sort you can do this one of two ways um, if you've got the cross-section window open we're just going to minimize model viewer you can right click anywhere in the view and click on open section design data now because that design variation is within the cross-section that we're currently showing we can see the variation that's being applied and we can manage it if you wanted to remove it, you could click on the delete button. If you wanted to add another one, you could click on add. This is also a neat way of being able to review what template you're currently applying at this particular um, station. You can also go down and override the daylight 
or batters, um, which we will do later on. If you just close that down, now reopen model viewer. So this could be minimized on your taskbar, or you might need to go to the ribbon and open it again. In model viewer, you can also do the same thing. So if you right click somewhere over your string, you have the option to open the section design data and you can see there we can access it. So at any point you want to go in and make changes, you can do so by accessing a right click in model viewer. We're just going to minimize model viewer for the time being.